Anybody want to say something? Get up here and say it. Get up here and say it. I got the nickname in Central California. I was in charge of the military. And I had to take over the and die and got kicked off of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my permanent job. Because I messed up. It used to be a messed up job. But two or three people messed up so bad that the ship was made from the permanent job. Anyhow, Gum and I were stationed together. Some of you seek another hurry. They said, my phone is true. But some of you older fellas have, that was a training command of the Kingsville, Texas, learning of the desert. What's the Navy doing in the desert? Well, I'm But anyhow, the gun would call me, and if I'd answer the phone, he could say, hey, how you doing? But if I'm not there, he'd go, hey, but bro, 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 look, man, I, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to, how to fly. Can you, can you, I heard you got a flight jacket on eBay for sale. We just said it. We, we, we said it. I'm not there. I need a flight jacket so I can fly. But anyway, he called me on the 18th, and I didn't call him back, and he passed away on the 20th. But the gum and I go back a few years. I used to live next door to my sister-in-law and brother-in-law in the reading room. And her, her and my sister-in-law would drink wine out there. Homemade food and wine. We got drunk, it was so good. We were sitting out there. He called me the other day. Guy day. made it. And we sat out there and we waited for our kids and the kids came home from school, we both got up and we were going, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He called me about six weeks ago, he had the roosters in his yard. Yeah. He called me and said, I got two roosters in my yard. I said, go, we don't need no roosters. And Sylvia, Lucy's talking about your roosters. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me pictures of the roosters and I emailed them back and I said, that thing is so ugly. Well, it's coming out, it's probably getting an ingestion. I'm sure he's talking about them roosters. But anyway, I love the gun. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to miss him. Okay. We're all going to miss him. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Nobody else wants to say anything. <laughs> oh, here comes uh, his son. i got to tell the truth. Come on, Pat. Family. Hope I'm talking loud enough. Yeah. Because everybody used to say I'm talking too loud. Because I used to have my dad barking in one ear and my mom was barking in the other. But uh, there's some things in traits that my dad taught us as, as my brother and I were growing up. And I know who was behind it all is my mother because I think she kept him straight. Um, my dad taught us integrity. Oh, we don't want to hear the story. Be honest. Be honest, and when, when my dad says honest, he means honest. say what you mean and mean what you say. And tell it like that. Um, there's several stories that you're talking about, the, the die. Um, I remember my dad coming home late one night. My mom was already, uh, at least she was in bed, and my, <clears throat> my dad comes walking in and he's covered with red dye. His clothes are drenched and drenched the sun. He's outside. He says, I can't get these clothes off of me. The guy was burning him eating him up. And he said, I got to get this out. So he was just totally drenched. So I stood out there, watched him, and I was putting the stuff. And he actually had to throw it away. You couldn't wash it. Yeah. <laughs> it was permanent. Some O-ring or something popped on the missile or something. Or got him. Um, there was a, I went to the Atlantic City with him. Um, I got Tell them all what you did. Yeah. I got to fly with Chuck Yeager. I got to fly with uh, Art Schultz. He was 18. And um, I got to drive the plate when he was around. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been sitting in the back seat. Pat, Pat, Pat you should have been sitting in the back seat with him. There wasn't enough room there to play with money there. <laughs> and they just, you know, I got them codes. Oh, I don't want to go there. But um, I just had a wonderful time watching the teamwork. My dad always taught us teamwork. I have a question for you. Was it you that took the picture of me when I hit the home run? Um, and, and when they named the little, the little league. The little league? No. Uh, no, it wasn't you. The little league had new ballparks, and they said one year, they said, hey, we're going to, the, the first person hit the home run in each field, that field would be named after them for the year. And my dad looked at me and he said, oh, man, 
he, he says, I bet you that Mark Niederhook will hit that first home run. He was an officer's kid. And he played. Him and I were always competing against each other. And my dad said, you can do it. I said, well, I don't know, Dad. I said, I'm going to try. You know, I'll give my best shot. My brother, my, my brother was behind the backstop when I went up the bat. And there was already a game that played. Two teams already played, no one hit home run. We were the second pair of uh, teams to play that day. And sure enough, I remember my brother said, knock the cover off the ball. I sort of looked back there, I saw my brother standing there. And I didn't see my dad. And <laughs> you're not going to believe this one. Well, you're going to believe it. Yeah, not. Yeah. But I'm up to the bat and I swing and miss the first pitch. And when I did, I looked like that, and my dad's standing on the other team's dugout. <laughs> <laughs> and when they were going, hey, look at him, he was going, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, shut up. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> like that, and I'll be hey, shut up. And I'm looking at him, the other man, shut up. Second pitch, I swung my head. And uh, I looked back, and my dad gave me a thumbs up. Man, went like that. My brother screamed, "Come on, Pat, knock it out of there!" And the third pitch, boom! It went straight over the brand new backstop. <laughs> and I didn't think it was going to stop because I wasn't even the first base yet, and I stopped to look at it. And the first base nurse was like, "Keep <laughs> And I was just so amazed. And when I turned third base, my dad was going clapping for me. My brother was jumping up. I thought he was going to fall off the wheel. <laughs> and there was a photographer. And I don't know how he did. I thought it was you. But he, he was like right behind home plate. When yeah. my foot hit home plate, he yeah. took the picture. Took the picture. And sure enough, a week after that, they had my name, Pat Dupree of Park. Oh, oh yeah. 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 And that's just something we taught us as being family. So mm. for everyone here, my dad was here right now. You look at him and go, bury the hatchets. Clean this lady. Family's so important, and I'm looking at a lot of my family right now. I mean, family. If you knew my dad, it was family. Everybody that met him, everybody that, that fell in love with him because who he was, it, it's sort of like you, you either loved him or you hated him. You couldn't stand him. And the people that just didn't stand him were the people that were, I think, even they just didn't know what love and friendship was all, all about. And, uh, and he said, always pray for them they'll always come around. And I know she was behind it 100%. <laughs> so my mom is driving for us. If y'all love my dad, it's because of it. Yeah, that's true. Thank you for okay. being here today. Okay. Eat dessert. Thank you, hon. Yeah. Listen to mama. Thank you, Pat. We're going to go back home. Sir, enjoy yourselves, and thanks again. Okay. You want to say something about the gum? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, this is the newbie here. <laughs> yeah, man, look. We drove up to the funeral a while ago and we were coming up and Hannah said, Oh, there's some soldiers standing out there. I said, What? Hey, soldiers, that's the Navy man, Janet. In the conversation, it's the Navy man. <laughs>